Hello YouTube, Yori here from Team Endgame, bringing you a tournament report from the recent Germany event I went to, and I dragged Alan along, as talking alone seems quite sad for me. So, plus, you know, got to rub it in his face that I use this deck. Well, it's not rubbing it in my face, I'm happy for you. Um, I'm more annoyed at my deck for not, like, working for me and working for you. Well, we'll, we'll see how much it worked for me, because I don't want to spoil the ending. Um, everyone, everyone probably already knows, but we don't go into that. Well, I don't know, you didn't post stuff about it anywhere, you just kind of, I don't know, left us to just wonder. I heard from yeah. other people. Well, I was busy playing games, right? So, um, went to Germany, uh, the Cologne event, and there were 91 players. It's in the same event it, uh, it was last year, it's the Media Park. Good event, good room, nice um, area, easy to get to, local food, great place. They had four judges, and Dan was head judge, so we all know Dan. Oh, Dan was head judge? Oh, yeah. He, did, he didn't tell me that little bit. Oh. Mm. And so, yeah, so, what? Well, yeah, he, yeah, he was, a, uh, I'll go into later why I think he was a good head judge, because it comes up later on, Wait. but yeah, overall he was a good judge. So, yeah, 91 players, so... I'm not about, happy about that, by the way. What, 91 players? 91 players. I mean, yeah. like, what did we get? 244 or some shit? Like, uh, seriously? Yeah. This is, it's like, a lot less than the UK, which meant I had a lot better chance in my head. Um, there are a few, so if you do the European sort of um, circuit, you see a lot of the same players turn up. And I've been in there a few years now, so I sort of see the same faces come around. So we have like there's the French con French contingency, the Dutch contingency, and a lot of German players. Um, so I went. I'll set a deck now. So I went with Oracles because I'm a scum lord. And you stole my which, deck. And I stole Alan's deck. Made it my own. To be fair to me, like it wasn't just a pure steal and play. I still do not know what you've changed this deck to, so I'm quite intrigued because yeah. I want to watch your deck profile when you put it up. Yeah. So, um, took it and game one. So went there. I was fourth in submitting the deck list. So I was player four. So game one, turn up, uh, and I sit down against um, one of the French guys and he we start the game and he turns over Kagero and I was like damn I know Kagero is a good counter to me because they've got waterfall so I had to uh, had so the games was a normal game he went first I believe but I used my PGs early because that's what you do against Kagero stay low damage then I was at three he went waterfall did the critique grade one dude into soul to give it an extra crit Gaius Gaius, that's one. So I was dead if it hit. So I was like, well, best I can do, one to pass, doesn't get it. And I was like, whew, that was close. Wow, one, wow. Mike, yeah. Mike will kill you for that. <laughs> yeah. Rewrite, uh, my go, swing at him, beat him down a bit, and then he goes again. And I was like, I didn't see it, because I saw him drive check that waterfall. So I was like, he might not have another one. Now, nah, he, of course, he's got another one. It's Kagero. So he gets another one. I was like, ah, oh, nuts. Uh, and he, but he doesn't have to um, the critique. So he just swings. This one, it's 10k more. And I used all my guard last time. So I was like, ah, quit for game. No triggers. I was like, oh, oh my no God. triggers. <laughs> you lucky Ooh. little shit. And then um, we rode uh, Imperial Daughter. Did deer. Two crits to the top of the deck. Boom! Casual four damage from uh, Imperial Daughter. No heals, no triggers. He was dead. I was like, game one. Whew! That was close. But uh, it's, it's how you play against Kagero. You guard it as you can. And that's I, the best I know I can that's do. how you play against Kagero. I'm not denying that. But the fact that you got two situations where it was basically trigger for game is like, the hell? Seriously? Yeah, I think. If I, mean, I have rat, to... Don't get me wrong, but Jesus Christ, yeah. that luck, man. I think if I had to critique him, it's he used Overlord skill um, when he first rode Overlord, and it hit, and so I had to like PG the other one or something, 
and I think that neg the neg he did he took there because he didn't hit a trigger really hurt him later on but he didn't hit a trigger on like all three drive checks right so he went there uh, then game two pair up and I went I was on table one and I was like wow win a game table one alright I'll take it uh, sit down against a guy who apparently I've played and this is really poor on my part I only remember him from last year where I played against him he was using dinos he was using dinos again this year but apparently I played against him two years ago or whatever when I went with bugs to Germany um, he's a really nice guy but I think he was a bit nervous for the tournament because he said at the end that he forgot to draw at the start of the game for his first turn but, oh wow! That, ooh. yeah, and I kind of he kind of didn't get anything going for him because you know Dinos is quite a combo deck. You yeah, need the grade yeah. ones to get the gauge and stuff. Nothing really went his way in that game, and I kind of just sort of beat him down quite quickly. And I was a bit like, "Wow, well, it is like I mean, I'm not gonna say yeah, I, like it was a great game, but I'll, I'm taking the win. So, but yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't like a all close tight game thing, so that was game two, which is quite a quick one. Um, game three, and this is when the buy. So there are a lot, there are like seven or eight people with buys, and this is when they came in round three. So sorry, so not up one people just to make this clip has seven rounds of Swiss before top eight. Um, so yeah, game three it was against Royals, and I moved all the way back to I think table fourteen or fifteen. And I was a bit like, oh, but I was on table one before. <laughs> All right. Uh, it was a very strange game because the guy no guarded everything till he was at five. Like he just went straight. Right. It was like no. It's like no, no matter what I was swinging at, it was like no guard, no guard, no guard, no guard, no guard. Got the five. And I was like, right. And I was guarding early, and then he did soul saver real early. Like I was at three and he went soul saver and i was like okay pg pg and i was it, it was it was always just like a pg to vanguard don't be double crit um because you know it just sucks and then it was like his rear guards was just a huge number but one damage so i was like uh let's take the one and yeah when you're at five everything Everything's death. You got to guard everything. I think you might have been hoping for heals or triggers, which he never hit. But yeah, so I kind of just beat him down in that one. It wasn't. Yeah, I don't know. I think not guarding anything early was a bit weird. I don't really have any comments on that. That just sounds really weird in terms of a playstyle. Yeah, I I I get it to an extent because he had a big hand, so he could sort of guard. I went into a deer, and it wasn't like too much pressure for him because he had a big hand could guard things but at the same time it's like that ate away his hand whereas if he was guarding earlier then when deer comes if I don't get crits then he can sort of stop things so yeah uh, then round four went against um, I was in the mirror it was my first so I, I was dreading this the whole day it was my first mirror match and the I was mirror like, match no TT is absolutely horrible. Yeah, I was like, ah, oh, nuts. So, I, yeah, it, it, it wasn't, didn't go well for me. I didn't ride the right grade one. He rode the right grade one. Couldn't punish him when the, like, he, I had like one opportunity and it was like the whole, you have to double crit to win, didn't double crit. So it was downhill from there. And somehow I got like so far ahead of him in deck. And I don't even know how it happened, but I like, I just, I decked out and he had like seemingly eight cards left in his deck. I was like, well, I don't know how I got so far ahead, but oh, <laughs> but yeah, it Wait, just he decked out. Yeah, I decked out. It was oh, wow, horrible. Like that whole that feeling of just when did this happen? Which kind of helped that me for the next game because so I lost that one. So currently X1, a bit like, ooh, now it's getting tight. Like, my lifeline's gone. I hate gone. that feeling. I absolutely hate that feeling. 
yeah. So I was like, crap, lifeline's gone. Uh, what do I do? Okay, so next game, mirror match. And I was like, uh, okay. So, ooh, played it out. But this time I, it went my way. So I had the triggers, I had the right rides. I had the deer for a rear guard. I had what I needed. And it got to a point where my hand was quite big. So this is where Tort came into play, where I got a Tort to do three damage. Which I was so <laughs> proud so of. I was like, you go, you, you, go you go, Yeah, put it back. <laughs> I was like, it must be a reason. I was like, you go, little Tort. He was like, yeah, you do damage. Um, but I think this, he took it because he needed a counter blast. Because I swung with the crit first and the rear guard was going to go somewhere else. So I think, because he could take it, I think it was like I can I can I can afford it, so I'll go with it. Um, but then I started paying attention more to like my deck left and his deck. So I had a big hand, and so I went. I'm just going to swing rear guard, rear guard, your go, because I was ahead of him at deck at this time. Right. But his hand was too small. He didn't have any rear guards out, so he had to hope that. So he rerode Imperial, did a skill. Which is already one card potential, like one card down in your deck, maybe two. Swung at me. I had the PG, so and then it was just he had he only had one rear guard column, so I was getting the value game out, and I just every time I drew a grade three, re ride, don't use any skills, just purely protect marker, just protect marker. I'm not. And eventually, I just decked him out, and it was just like that first mirror match off gave me a. That's how you sort of do it. Um, but yeah, it was, I don't know, mirror matches are pain, so especially that, Oracle. Going back to the one where you decked out, that's like one of the things I can think of that maybe push you that far, is if you did Imperial Daughter and Soul Charged, because then you're getting rid of two cards as opposed to one. Yeah, well, or... the, the, the thi I think the thing was with that game, every time I did Imperial, it was two like grade ones. Whereas every time he did Imperial, it was top, like, card to the top of the deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you there go, ah, nuts. Because you know it's a trigger. You're not going to soul charge it if it's not a trigger, so it's a trigger. You just, it's like, ah, oh, crud. Um, so, yeah, that was a bit. But then, like, I was like, okay, fine. Uh, then, next game was Kagero again. Um... And yeah, when you go first, always a help. Just PG'd his Overlord, because I was like, not risking it. Uh, could take his Waterfall, because I was a uh, one. Couldn't guard it, but he needed like, what is it? Not even double crit kills me then, does it? What, when you're on one damage? Yeah. No, you need triple crit, which doesn't exist. Yeah, he didn't have to critique, so... I was like, right, and then, yeah, I think we rode Imperial, Soul Charge a grade 3, cool, dear, took two crits to the top, killed him. I was just like, well, this is Oracles, and oh, by the way, all but I think one game today, oh, on that day, I rode Ami first, and then Imperial. Okay, so you got so, it in the right order and everything. Yeah, it was the right order and what you needed, so I was like, yeah, this is how you do it. Um, then... I played, so that was game six, and I was like, right, X one's got to win the last, and then I should be safe. Okay? Um, play it, open in hand, mine is rubbish. My opponent's was god tier. I played dinos, so I was like, like, second dinos of the day. Oh my, he had everything. It was so earlier in the day, um, I was talking to Rob, who went out with us. And he goes, you can't beat dinos if they open broke. Like the whole cool soul charge, retire it, draw it, soul blast, draw that cut the gauge card. Then you ride the grade two and they get the grade two out, have the thing which puts the gauge under it and yada yada. And the guy had it. And I was like, oh my God, I was just getting like by turn three, he had like 12 cards in hand. I was like, what am I supposed to do against this? I was just getting beaten down. I was like, well, that's GG. And I was done. At that point, I was like, crud. I was... 5-2 at that point. Yeah, 5-2. I was like, great. The bubble, again. I was fuming with myself. I was just like, 
just that's it. I, I I was so close to ticking the drop bo- box like option from the slip because I was like X2 I'm not making it I might as well drop fuck it but then I was like wait hang on a minute last round now I'll just st- stick it out so I went down sat down was just fuming started looking at flights so there were flights on Saturday on the way back like any really early flights because the tournament was run so smoothly it was like by three four o'clock it was like done i was like ah oh well, like near and top eight so i was like ah so all my rounds were done i was like ah nuts once again opportunity gone and then dan comes over to me as he put in the thing and he was like ah oh, sorry you lost but um looking at the tiebreakers there's a chance that the guy who beat you like the oracle player if he wins his match you have a chance and i was like dan i'm out don't like no there's no chance i'm done i was so, i was just like in that mood that mindset of is over just like take me out the back put me down like put me out of misery so all the games are done i'm sitting at the back of the room just like uh, and they go they call top eight and they start listing the numbers so first blah 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 second number blah 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 blah, and they just list they just go down i wasn't really paying attention to the numbers because again i'm not going to be in the top I, I was just like i'm out so he when he, he says oh and i th- i thought he said finally but apparently he said seventh um is number blah blah blah, blah. that guy celebrated so much he jumped and kicked a chair so everyone saw him and i was like that's it that's it and i was literally walking out just to try and get like clear my head get some fresh air and i hear a an eighth place is 004 and i just swiveled on that step i was like <laughs> wait, wait a minute walk up and at this point he's posted the listings like the thing everyone's crowding around to see where they came and i walk over and i'm like damn did I hear that right? He goes, what? I'm like, did I make top eight? He goes, yes. And I was like, <laughs> god damn! You made goes, eight plays. Yeah. Oh my he god. He goes, because the guy won. Clutch. <laughs> yeah, the guy who beat me with oracles won. And so therefore, I made top eight. I was like 66% of my ratio. And that was it. I was just like, damn. All right whatever and they say we're doing a proper top eight so what a proper top eight means is first the eighth second fee seventh and so on so forth so i was just like right i'm gonna get first and the first was undefeated on the day and i was like great cool typical but it was dp and i was like how is this here so we sit down uh we do a deck check it's all fine so thank god uh we they laid the mats out. I asked if I can take mine out of the plastic because I'm a weirdo and I don't like it in the plastic because so it slides everywhere. Uh, this is after also ordering the deck, which probably helped because I felt it was getting a bit, you know, bricky. So reordered it, shuffled it through. All right, let's go. He, and my opponent was like, oh, I'm, I'm in top A, but I'm undefeated. So, you know, the curse, I'm probably going to lose. And I was like, look, I'm probably going to lose. So don't worry about it. And my mindset was, I've already lost. I wasn't getting further than this. I was like, I made top eight, but I'm going to be pissed that I just get top eight and like make eight, like seventh or eighth place. Like, bleh. Um, and we do the cuts. And we just do everything. And the mulligan, he goes four back. And I was like, oh. Oh, and I say. That's, because uh, my hand was pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. I had the Magus to ride. I had the grade two, to, I had the Imperial, no, not Imperial, what's the grade Promise. two, which promised daughter to ride. And I had Ami. So I was like, two go back, draw two, all right, shuffle, 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 shuffle. Okay, go, and I'm on the dice roll. So I was like, oh, I do say, this is very nice. <laughs> so I ride. He... What is this commentary? <laughs> this is, this is how I felt. <laughs> yeah, this is how I felt. I was like, this is, this is going my way. And literally, the game, I sacked my balls off. Everything went my way. He rode the wrong grade three. So then later, he had to ride... Di- so he rode the wrong Dayusha. So he then later had to correct himself and ride the right Dayusha. And I was like, ah, oh, I can just PG this. I don't have to re- worry about a re-ride. 
the amount of times I got triggers and damage, beyond me. And he didn't have PGs for me to swing at him. I just sat and I was like, that wasn't a good game, but I'll take it. You know why I'll take it? Because the amount of times it's happened to me and my opponent hasn't said a thing. At least I owned up to my sacking. I was like, look, mate, that's just how the game goes sometimes. But yeah, I, I'm not going to lie. I did sack my balls off. And he was just like, you did. And I'm like, I know I did. But I'm not going <laughs> to apologize for it because I own up to that crap. Whereas some people will sack their balls off, go up to their mates and be like, I outplayed the guy. No, no, you sacked them. There's, there's a difference between sacking and outplaying. All right. So then I was like, OK. So at the start of the get day, this is just a prefix thing. Um, I thought if I, I was number four and I was like, wouldn't it be funny if I got fourth? Because I would really beat the crap out of myself if I got fourth. Because that's not an invite. So when I got top eight, I was like, two wins and I'm in Japan. That's all I need. I can win, lose, win. Third place make, gets an invite. So I was like, okay. Semi final comes down. Uh, different fight. Wants to, like, wants to record a semi final. He chooses this one. And I do hope he gets the video up because the way the game ended. Magnifique. This is the one that you told me about. <laughs> this is the one I told you about. <laughs> the whole game was like, it was a back and forth. It was a good, uh, like, tight game. We both wrote what we needed to. We were both sort of doing our thing. Um, I go, I was against uh, Dinos. Ah. Again. So I was like, right, okay. Um, I thought I'd be against Dinos. So I looked behind me, and the game behind me was a Dino mirror match. And I think then it was a Dino Oracle and an Oracle mirror match. <laughs> um, so I was like, right, okay. So I played it out and I was like, right, do my thing, do my thing. Comes to the end of the game. Well, I say the end of the game. I didn't know it was the end of the game. I just assumed it might. It was getting close. And the guy, I do some Ami, I think it, yeah, it's Ami I was on. I do the skill, beef her up swing at vanguard and he drops he goes uh, da, 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 da. bam 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 two to pass he was at four and i was like two to pass you gave me two to pass i was like come on deck come on if you're gonna do this do it now get me to japan first check draw trigger and i was like we sort of had a judge watching us because we both uh semi-finals and finals had a judge <laughs> and i was like just to confirm because I wanted to make perfectly clear, not do it and then be like, well, let's put a power, blah, blah, blah. I was like, judge, can I draw first? He goes, yeah, you can do whatever order. So I was like, right, draw, not a trigger. I was like, right, only a crit's going to kill him. I assume he's got enough. He's got a PG somewhere in his hand. All effects Vanguard. Second check crit. I was like, oh, <laughs> no heal, no, <laughs> no heal, final. no heal. I was like, oh, I got to Japan. <laughs> I can't yes. believe you did that in a semi-final. Commit, man! Oh. Oh. So, I was like, ah. Oh. Yes! So then, I was like, yeah, I did it, I'm in Japan! Because I was going to Japan, like, the mo if I got an invite, I'm going. So I was like, ah, oh. whoo, relief. Like, there was relief when I won the top, like, I, I wasn't... So the mindset I had going into top eight was I've already kind of lost, so I wasn't nervous going into it. And I saw my opponents, both uh, top eight and semi-final, the hands were shaky. And then I think the semi-final, the guy was probably a bit nervous about being on camera, maybe. I don't know. But I just saw it as it's another day because I didn't done enough on camera. So I'm like, <laughs> um, And... Again, I was like, uh, even though I'm going to Japan anyway, because that's what I said. Like, Rob came over, was like, "Ah, oh, you could top two, nice." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah." He goes, "Go to Japan anyway." He goes, "Yeah, but you know, it's nicer. As you get, you don't have to pay for it." And I was like, "That would be nicer. That would be a lot nicer." So we sit down, and this is where I say that Dan did, was a good at head judge. Okay. So he okay. didn't. So he didn't do a deck check on me. Right. Because he knows me. Right. And so he could have just said, yeah, it's fine. He didn't judge my semi-final game. And he didn't judge the final because I was in it. So he took himself out of 
any bias that could oh, have come about. Oh, I think about. you mean right, right, right. Got you. Um, and he did the same uh, the next day for the vice when he was helping out. He didn't rule against or in favor of like a friend. He double checked with other judges if that if like someone we knew was doing things or so on and so forth. So he did it very much. Uh, he didn't want to interfere because it may have been I did something where he just goes, it's fine, when it might not be, just because we're friends. So he didn't even want to put himself in that situation. Um, so that's why I commend him, because head judge, you want to judge the final, and you kind of, you have to judge the like third and fourth place game because um, your friend's in the final. So I was like, fair enough. So the final happens. Um, and again, I rode the Magus that I needed to ride. I rode the right grade two again. Ah, oh, this was a good thing. So I have Luckbird in the deck. Now Luckbird, solve last two, draw a card. Gain 6k, which means on grade two ride, I was going first. So, ah, oh, okay, now, better story. Before we started, you have to decide who goes first. Um, now, before we played against him, he won the dice roll and he went first. But he uses a big dice and he only wanted to roll one. And I was like, can I roll, can we roll two dice? Like, you can roll your dice, I'll roll the dice I borrowed from uh, Dan and Rob. So we can just roll two dice. He goes, no, I want to roll one dice. And I was like, yeah, but I prefer two because I think it's a fairer way to decide who goes first and second. And he goes, no, no, just draw one. And so the judge who was judging goes, you know what? If you can't decide, you're doing rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Um, and so he went, I don't want to do rock, paper, scissors. That's even worse than rolling like dice. And I was like, he goes, I'll, I'll roll two dice. And I was like, okay, one the dice roll. So I was like, whoo, little win there. Um, and then, yeah, again, it was just the perfect rides when I needed them. Side note, in the semi-final, didn't actually get deer off. Had to drop it as a rear guard, both of them, which he then subsequently retired. Um, so I didn't actually use deer skill in the final, in the semi-final, but that was just a side note. I forgot about that. But it's something worthy of note, because in the final, I did use deer skill. Um, and yeah, the, the thing was, the whole game went my way in the final. His He didn't have his combo pieces. He didn't have... I think he did get the proper re-ride, but... In the semi-final, the guy got the Mammoth out, um, where you had to guard with two cards, no matter what, which is really annoying because it made me drop another card and I was like, nuts. And I think that sort of pushed it into a... Um, pushed it into the double trigger for game, or uh, to the pass scenario. Um, but, yeah. So, in the final, yeah, everything went my way. It was... There was only one point where he could have won if I hadn't said no pass. Because I was at three, he could have double crit. He didn't even trigger at that point. That's not the point. The point is, that would have been his window. And I, in my head, I'm just saying, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do an Aaron, throw away a game where I'm in the prime position where I can. Oi. You, look, you've done it before. Right. It, no, don't worry. Carry on, carry on with your story. Carry on with your story. <laughs> But I was like, I'm not, I just have to ensure the thing. And then I think because he was nervous in the final, things weren't going his way. He swung his rear guard at my vanguard. Big power, big numbers, one damage. And I was like, okay, take the one. Uh, that, was that your only open counter blast coming the next turn? <laughs> yep. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> And so I was like, okay, did, and I don't, I don't remember, honestly, if it was Ami or if it was Imperial I was on, but at some point it was, just, I was just swung and he went, he, his hand was, he had nothing, but I think if he had got a six damage heal, my rear guards weren't hitting him. So he guarded the Vanguard one to pass. And I was like, well, so earlier in the game, he guarded two to pass. First check was a crit. 
and I committed, didn't get it, but then my rear guard went to his rear guard, so I didn't really mind. It was never going to his vanguard anyway. Um, I could have won there and then. I was like, ah, nuts. Um, but this time, it was one pass, and I was like, draw trigger, power vanguard, draw a card, second check, nothing. I was like, no heal. I was like, ah, oh, just so jammy. The top eight, semi-final, final, everything went my way. The deck just was like, we could actually win this. Yeah, we could. Let's go. And so, yeah, because of that, I came first. I have a certificate proving it. I have a medal proving it. And I have the Alfred promo card with the stamped champion proving it. Way. So, yeah. I beat my previous best of second place. Um, yeah, God, yeah. how long ago was that? Three years ago? Uh, I think four at this point, isn't it? Oh, I can't remember what year. Whenever Glendy was out. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. But yeah. Yeah, so... Really bloody relieved, is all I can say. Like... I, I, don't, I don't know, it was... It was a bit surreal when it was like, that's the sixth damage. And I was like, I just, I just won. Traveling to an event actually paid off. I won. My deck. It, I don't give a crap <laughs> whose deck it was. So you're going to buy OTT off me? No. <laughs> if Nova Grappler was the best deck in the meta, I would have asked Mike to borrow Nova's. Um... But yeah, it was, so the event, I, okay, I know it was less people, so I got more of a chance, but at the end of the day, you still got to win out, and I know luck went my way, but again, at the end of the day, you don't win a tournament without luck going your way, like, you get the rub of the green to win, you see it in any competi competitive scene, the winner will always be the guy where they got lucky. Like something went their way in golf, the, the the putt went in, they hit it just the right amount, or the breeze carried the ball or something. In football, the keeper slipped, the defender slipped. Uh, you see it all the time everywhere. You don't win a tournament without getting lucky. And yeah, I got lucky, but again, I went with the best chance, which was OTT. I'm sorry, call me what you want, but OTT is the best deck in the meta because at the moment, with before AL4. It's got the best support. And it shows, like, scrying is just so good. Is that a trigger? No, well, then away it goes. Just, yeah. I mean, the scrying is one thing, but I still think most of it comes down to deer. I don't know, I won the semi final without, uh, yeah, without deer. This, this is my point. You, you won your semi final by committing on a two to pass. That's like yeah. a Yuri Saki way of winning. It's not a Saki way. It's, a, right. it's, a, it's definitely a Yuri way of winning. Yeah, it's a me way of I'm winning. I'm pretty sure every other game you use deer. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Yeah. And that either decimated their hand or let you win. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because but split crits and plus 20k to a column is dumb. Even, it's not even the split crits, because people still guard it. They like, even, like, even if it doesn't have a crit, or you, they have to guard the crit side, it, it's just a decimate in the hand. Like, you're hitting... I think I said in the deck, in the deck breakdown, you hit you You can hit 23 with Promise and an 8k, which everything bar bird is an 8k. <laughs> so you can hit 23, and then you just add 20k on that, so you're hitting 43 for some reason, and then you've got a trigger on it, 53. Well, that's better, that's a bigger number without having to rely on force markers than almost any other deck in the game can hit. Yeah. And you can do that both sides. Pretty much. Even like, oh, I'm just swinging at you for 20. Well, actually, now it's 40. Oh, is it? Well, that's a bigger number than 20. So it's not a 15 anymore, or not a 10. It's now, like, 20 needed. Or 30 even, sorry. <laughs> it's, yeah. But, at the same end of the day, like, OTT was very heavily prevalent. Dinos was heavily prevalent as well. 
and I fair play. Dinos was very prevalent over there. Yeah, I, I think I, it's. So you saying? I was, I was expect OTT, but like I was kind of shocked at the amount of dinos, especially in the top cut as well. Yeah, I, th- I think if dino high rolls, it's better than Nova's because it has the draw. Like if Nova's high roll, they are really good. But Nova's can don't have the draw power where if dinos have one like the one card of like one grade one of cool, give it a thing. If it dies, Soul Blast adds up to hand. Yes, it can be a one for one, but if you put it on the um, Axel Circle, 18, well, it's forcing you to guard, and then I kill it, I get power again on the other thing which killed it, and I draw a card. And the thing that killed it usually draws you a card as well, or retires something. They have what they need to counter most things, because they have to draw power, they have to think, but the problem I find with them, and I saw it with them, is if they brick, they brick hard. Like, they struggle to get to fix themselves. The amount of games where or- I was like, I don't have a grade three, I don't have to write grade two. Draw. Drawing cards. Scry. Like, the amount of times I'll scry, oh, it's a grade two, keep it there, I need it. Swing. There it is. Um, it's just OTT can fix themselves in a way which is easier to do than other decks. And you can go digging. And the, the problem I saw with all the dinos I played against, even the one who beat me, and when I say he beat me, he destroyed me, but he was still getting a lot of his triggers as his equip gauges. And it's where I see Grand Blue fail, is your triggers are gone. And I don't know if it's because I've become a better player now, but I remember the first tournament, I didn't even pay attention to how many crits I had left in my deck. I would just swing away and sort of go, la 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 la. Now, especially in standard where I can't go 12 crit, I'm like, I've gone through seven crit. Nuts. I've only got one left, and he's a, only a crit will kill him at, sort of at this point. He's, he can take a damage, but still, uh. Um, so I think it's, I've noticed more that triggers help, and in decks where you can't recycle them, you just struggle. The only <clears> thing which sort of can is spikes. Oh yeah, that's true. But then they... heals is very fun. Yeah, but then they get shut down by just going. My grade three doesn't do anything. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's by the by. I mean, D Robo's. I was surprised was undefeated, and I honestly was surprised. I don't but... get that. I don't get it. But if you high roll with them, like he wasn't playing. So I saw a different fight went, and he went with um, a Miracle Beauty package. Now the miracle package is if it goes off you just get bombed on because they go right miracle swings at you for 23 maybe 33 if i rewrote or 23 and i have the like grade ones out so i can swing at you counter blast put it in we stand minus 5k so if i commit to a trigger on it so it's like 23 33 or whatever with a crit i swing at you it restands 28 with a crit swing at you restand 23 with a crit or I can restand the other side. So if the miracle package goes off, it's really strong. But otherwise, you are banking on I swing with a crit, you PG it, I re ride, I get a crit on this like quad drive. I I don't know, I just after playing D Rovers in the UK, it when you don't hit it, you just go, it's just, the deck doesn't do anything. Like the setup you need to get the combo off. And then if you're not hitting triggers, you just go, it's just one damage. Like, number is even more so now. Number means nothing without a crit. It's like, oh, it's bringing you for like 207,000 power. Okay, do you have a crit? No. Well, it's one damage. As I said, the tournament, great place. Venue, great place. The food is awesome. Like, you have curry, sausage, which is just, oh, lovely. Um... (laughs) <laughs> what? You yeah, of course you just talk about, talk about the food. <laughs> it's a good. It's the, the venue has great food. It's not. It was. It's not cramped and compact. Uh, it can hold a lot more than ninety one. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, I just. I mean, of course, I'm going to sing the praises. I'll sing the praises of the Bushy Road pairing system as well because it got me to top eight, despite what everyone says about it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to complain now. So, but yeah, now comes 
the whole planning what to go with to Japan, which is probably going to be, again, steal one of Aaron's decks. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, Ultra Rare comes out before then, so I've got... <laughs> I was going to say, so, what's the date? 20th of January, so the last set to come out before it is Ultra Rare. You don't get gears before then, though. Uh, that is something I didn't even think. I forgot that set existed. <laughs> Christ. January 18th. Stop the gears. Yes. And when do you go? They said it's the 20th. Ah, uh, so you'd have to go before that, I'd imagine. Uh, that would technically mean if I get a case, I'd have to order the case out there. <laughs> build. The thing is, it's going to come up. People will be playing freaking Leoplaid and Gears and Genesis and... Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's something to think about, Yari. Oh, oh, no, but I need... Ah, Give it another couple of months and you'll have the reveals for it. That's sad. I need, to, I need now to see. Ah, oh, that's really annoying. Get the ride grade fours from your deck. Well, it depends if they got like guard break or something, or they can counter golds. Extra turn. <laughs> Let's just bring mystery Spur back into this. Oh, the, the thing is, it's the whole like I get like three force markers in a turn, yay me. But it's, I mean. Depends if that helps you guard against freaking gold beating you down. Oh, that is so annoying. Why did you have to raise that? Why? I'm trying to be a good friend and remind you of all your options. Could be Genesis as well, though. Like, ah, uh, ah. Uh, cool. Thanks. Cool, you're going to Japan. Be happy with that. Yeah, but I want to go to Japan with a chance to win, not like... I mean, you love the food in Germany. You love the food in Japan. Yeah. Well, barfish. You know, trust me, even, like, I'm not a big fan of fish, I tried the fish out there, it's pretty good. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, that's actually really irritating me. I think it's the 20th. I'm now hoping it's not, but I think they said it was the 20th. Ah, oh, that's poopy air. Why do you have to raise it? <laughs> Told ya, trying to be a good friend. Stop being a good friend, it's annoying me now. Ah... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oh well, I'll figure. We'll figure out closer to the day. Yep, very much. But yeah, good tournament. I, as I said, I highly recommend if you get the chance, do go to the German scene. If it's probably being Cologne again, I'm I imagine. Very tempted to come with you next year because I've only ever gone to, as far as France. Yeah. Um. I just, I, I just see it as the best chance to win is you go to multiple tournaments. Just going to one isn't. For me personally, I it doesn't. Oh no, get I me completely in. agree. Like, me and Mike had this discussion, like, just amongst ourselves the other week, and it was, we go to, like, our locals, we go to other shops and stuff, we play for practice, we practice against each other. But it's never the same as a competitive like environment such no. as that. And that's the only way you're really going to get practice is if you go to that. And once a year isn't enough because you don't get to practice the current meta as much. You can have to send me a picture of your certificate and stuff so I can pop it up on the screen. Uh, it should be you're sent over Messenger. Oh, or you not want that up one? on the screen? Though. Okay. On the screen. Now, just poof, here it is. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, I also want to point out I won without having two round by. So it can be done. <laughs> the buy is like a nice little extra thing. Yeah, but it's really nice. I mean, not having to play the first two rounds. Usually I lose in the first two rounds, so not having to play them. <laughs> Like it, the mindset of me was when I get well, if I if I win the first two I'm as good as the people who got the buy like I'm already I, I with them but I've had to go through the problem of I could have bricked I could have got sacked against the the thing um, with me I find is I'd rather have the buy simply because the mental fatigue starts kicking in after a while oh yeah like 
Okay, I just want to say mad props to Rob, who before, like, after he played his seventh round game, he went and got me, like, lunch, effectively. Because I was just, like, by the end of it, it's like, I want to sleep, I'm done, I don't care anymore. Ooh, food! Oh, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> right, let's play. <laughs> like, wow, really? Nice. Yeah. Go Rob. So he was, yeah, he was just like, I'll go get you food. I was like, I haven't made it. He goes, no, you have a chance. I'll, I'll, I'll go get food. Don't worry. Like, he knew he hadn't because he went X3, so he knew he hadn't. Um, but yeah, and I have an Alfred, uh, uh, what was it, a King of Knights Alfred, just sitting, sitting in my folder now. Nice. Yeah, can I frame it somewhere? Okay, frame it. Don't sell it. Frame it. Oh god, no. I'm, I'm keeping that, man. Right? I earned it, it's like proof. I did well at some point. And your certificate and medal are not proof. <laughs> no, well, alright. If ever, Aaron. <laughs> If ever I need to go to a tournament and play Royals, I put Alfred in, <laughs> I put Alfred in, then it's like, it's proof. Uh-huh. I, look, I'm fully aware, without playing the broken deck, I wasn't going to win it. And thank you for letting me borrow your deck. <laughs> Fine. Happy anytime. As I said, I might steal your <laughs> golds or something. Depends how good Angels right, is. You can't steal a deck I'm using, that's, that's the only thing, right? Uh, yeah, but, I mean, when I go to Worlds, I'm gonna steal you. Oh, yeah, 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 of course, because, you know, I'm not going to Worlds. Yeah, as I said, I... I highly recommend people get around to the other tournaments, because it's just... It's so fun as well. Like... Just meeting other people with a passion about the game seeing across like Europe how many people like the game it's just yeah and then you get to see weird funky builds which is also cool I like and you get to see it yeah you get to see how people should play like Kagero decks and stuff and not just Mike's way of building the Kagero deck so that's it's the whole practice it's like because Mike will never use critique but it's like every time I'm like ah, it's, it's a lot right. of damage yeah guys whatever it's called What's the critique one? Is that Novell? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the Gaius. And it's like, with a crit, I'm like, don't have a, I can't guard that. Nuts. <laughs> oh, look, it's more damage. <laughs> but yeah. Um, other than that, uh, I think that's about it for the tournament report. Um, we may have a rant, because I want to do a podcast thing at some point coming up. Uh, Ale 4 weekend? Yeah, can do. I'm down for that. Along with an LFL case opening! Yeah, come on, Tetsu Marker. Come on, no. Tetsu Marker. No. Come on, no. Tetsu Marker. No, it will be Ren and Asuka markers, alright? Come on, Tetsu Marker. No. You only get one, don't you? No, you should get two. You get two? Yeah, it's, it's the same as uh, Q4. So in Q4, we got Misaki and Kamui. The alternative would have been Aichi and Kai. So for AL4, it's Ren and Asuka or Tetsu and Kyo. So it better be Ren and Asuka, Yuri. Anyway, thank you all for listening to me just talk about how awesome I am at this game. Um, and I will now refer to myself as the best player in Team Endgame. So, best player in Team Let's Endgame, fair, signing off. Yuri, you've been that since you came second in whenever it was. Yeah, no, so I know. Me, I, I me know. Mike, when he ever come third and fourth, I'm fully aware I'm the best, but I just now need you guys to finally acknowledge it. I um, always acknowledged it. The problem is you're never around to show it. That's true. <laughs> uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button to stay up to date with notifications. Check out us on Facebook. Uh, I would do the Twitch, but I don't think we ever use it. Nope. We so, to it yeah. Works out. Well, I don't know. I can't get arenas to work, so... Unless we do, do tabletop. Do you have What? Do you have a Twitter? I do not have a Twitter. You should get Twitter. Why should I get Twitter? I don't know, I have why a Twitter. Why don't you just get an endgame Twitter? Because <laughs> then it's a pain in the ass to sign in and sign out and stuff. You get someone else to do it then. Not me. I've tried that before. That's true. Look how well it went. <clears throat> Is 
for the night too, Rob. Um, yeah, so like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, we will see you either deck profile before or after this. If not, I'm sure that's, Aaron can throw up some more games if they haven't done any before then. And if not even that, then at least the AL4 case opening. Got a while for that one yet. Two weeks. Yeah. I've only got two a week's worth of content. Yeah. Is it? Probably. Oh no, it's ne- next weekend. <laughs> no, ne- Yes. Yeah. So not this weekend, yeah. This weekend sneak peek, so next week. Yeah. That's it. Um So yeah. We'll do that. Try and get some games up I guess. See how we go. Hopefully Aaron can get the really fancy Phantom Blaster. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Oh no! Set it for like a million. I don't know if I'd want to keep it or not. It's the old artwork, man. I love the old artwork. I never yeah, bought it the... in SP before. Yeah, but the price? Dude, I would... If if I could get it for the price it's going at, my god, that thing will be gone so quick. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that was even a thing. Yeah. You've got to be super lucky to get it. And I feel sorry for the person who forked out and gets four of them. I don't. Because you know there'll be one person with that. It's like the whole Gizeh team. It's their own choice. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not sorry for them in the flag. Eh, uh, well. Apparently I have a heart. I don't. Um, so yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, Facebook. Uh, when, as always, see you guys next time, I guess it is.